Hi, I'm C, KJ7NLL, and in the last video we used Microwave Office to export Gerbers. In this video, we will use those Gerbers to print them out on the circuit board. And to do that, one way we're going to do it is using my mom's iron, and the other way is to use my mom's toaster oven. Shh, don't tell my mom. Please remember to scrub your board before putting it in the oven with the plastic on. We are using dish soap and scrubbing it for a couple minutes. So, first we need to print the Gerber on a piece of paper. Then we need to print it on this transparency film. And then we need to put this board between the transparency film on the paper and line it up to the traces. And then we need to vacuum it down in the vacuum seal bag and we will put a link to that in the description. This and then we will add the liter breather cloth underneath of the board here. The Try to say bleeder breather cloth five times fast. And then we will vacuum seal it down with this and this. And then and so the bleeder breather cloth is supposed to be used for even pressure so that because the silicone is squeezing too tight to let the air pass through it. And then we're going to put this silicone underneath it like this. And then we're going to take this and put its temperature sensor underneath it so that we know what the temperature is going to be. And then we look at it and wait almost oh, at 280 degrees. It's at room temperature right now because it's not on the iron. And then we're going to use this iron to heat it up. And that's it. Now the iron here is on and we're just going to let it there. The pressure from the um, vacuum bag will put the pressure on the board and then the iron is just heating it up. We've got it set to all the way high past cotton and then we're just going to let that it. So now it's ready, so we're going to take it out of the bag by sliding this thing off on the top. Now we're going to take the board out. Looks like it has been nice pressed. Now we're going to slowly find the side without tape and pull it up. And now we need to pull up the tape part and pull it up. So that's our board. Dad? Yeah? Where's Mom? I didn't see the store. Oh good, because now I'm going to show you how to make a circuit board in Mom's toaster oven. So, first we need to oil this. So my assistant, Eric, is going to pour oil on this. And the reason for that is because we are going to need the oil for a good seal. Also, the bleeder breather has to be under this white um, sucky thing. The, the sucker. 
and that's it. Set to 300 degrees. So the reason it didn't work was because this, the seal, had melted on us in the oven. So, now we're going to use this setup of a bunch of paper clips. So after a couple of minutes in the oven, you need to suck it again because it's expanding. So now we need to open it up. So let's do this, open up all this crazy business by undoing all these. And pull them off. Luckily, this time Eric wasn't having, uh, didn't have oily fingers when he did it. Also, the the clips are bigger. There. Now let's take these away and open it up. So we're going to take it out from the back. Here's a piece of bleeder breather. And then here it is. Now let's find the side without the tape. Tape is on this side, so we're going to turn it around. And slowly peel that up. One little spot we can fix that up. And that little spot was a little tiny bit on the trace. And so really nice board so be sure to make the plastic inside of the board not outside otherwise when it bends down it will not make a good seal you just jiggle it back and forth gentle gentle it's cold yeah i mean it's everything in here is cold yeah. What it looks like when it's been etched. This is what it looks like when we remove the toner using a little elastic. Five, four, Three, two, one. In this video, we used an iron and a toaster oven to bake circuit boards and then etch them. Thank you for watching.